1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. Luke chapter 14, verse 27. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Galatians chapter 6, verse 14. But may it never be that I would boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Mark chapter 15, verse 39. When the centurion, who was standing right in front of him, saw the way he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. Gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for the cross. For the cross is the plan of salvation, where the sinner can come to reconciliation with Almighty God and have God's wrath taken off one's life. And that wrath was poured out upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking the punishment that I deserve and being the slain sacrifice for the sins of the world. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.